Okay, people, so what's been discovered is that as we keep going on, we're finding more cracks, more splits in the, in the lumber. That did turn out to be ga old gas line that was uh, terminated. We followed the, the original gas line to where it is now, and it doesn't do that. You can see the cracks, the split in the lumber. See the splits? And on this side, too, there's one split. In the middle of the middle going down, that's a split. Now, they did, have, they did put bridging in here, blocking. Bridging. And so it looks like this fracture happened some time ago. And you can see they shimmed it out at that point. They plastered the ceiling. They even added the one-by material, this all the lumber there, including um, putting the knob and tubing back through after they sistered it with this material here. Now I'm looking at it. The sister is not fractured. So it looks like shit, right? But the sister hasn't fractured. So that's, uh, that's uh, just interesting that it didn't break. Um, now over here, because they notched this pipe so aggressively, and this was done original with the gas line, uh, plumbers just notched the hell out of it. it just, the fracture started at this end and worked this way back to here. And as you can see, as it loads, as you, it's getting loaded, it would continue to split. So this will get, the ceiling's gonna finish, be removed, we're gonna be removed. It's gonna get a strap underneath. All right, so you're gonna put a metal strap on the bottom for the tension side of it, securing it to the bottom of the joist. Considering any pull out, remember pull out testing I do, so I do have a value for this about 1200 pounds, um, is what my estimated estimate is until I do a test on it. I don't, I won't do a test, we're just going to metal strap it and then sister it. So belt and suspenders, both uh, protection. We're going to finish removing the ceiling over to there to the wall to confirm it's, it's sitting in the pockets real nice. Um, you can see that this happened a few places. Here's a fern strip. And you can see that in how they did this fern strip over here in the middle. See the one in the middle of the screen and the fracture? So, yes, sometimes you have to, you know, break a little, break an eggshell to see what's going on. And that's what we're doing. Break this eggshell open and see what's really going on and determine what course of action is best for it. No matter what, they, what you got to do, you've got to do it. For example, this was not observed. None of these fractures were observed with the uh, with the uh, this drop ceiling that was installed. I said open it up just so I can look at it, but for one, for safety reasons, because part of it was you know just old ceiling. So I put my finger on it. It's got to be come back to it for the safety reasons. You got to bring it up. With that said, all of this became exposed to us. The fractures. Originally, I thought no bridging, and then we got further back and we see the bridging. That's good for helping for twisting. And uh, we'll add more more blocks across there to keep it more stable and twist in it with the twisting action. Still got to explore and open up, and it will tell more of a story. I don't like that, for example. It looks like a corner crack, so we're going to see what's going on. This is a party wall next door, so a house is next door. These are old Philadelphia houses, so this is what you get. This is what you get. Remember, this is 1940. This thing is almost 100 years old. So this wood might have dried out and, and been repaired maybe late 60s because they still were using fern strips then uh, to do this, to, to uh, do the repair. And we see that in the, the fern strips are part of this repair, part of their original repair for the split. They never addressed the split, though, besides just dropping the ceiling. That would make you think that, well, it wasn't bad of a split. It wasn't splitting that far back. You know, do you think they did that? Do you think they actually, do you think they actually put this fern strip up like this? Well, if you think that, you have to realize that you would not see nails in it. And we look at it, and no nails are observed in here. No nail holes. No nail holes. But... Keep in mind, they're going to be very small and splintered like this. See where my finger is? Right there, that's a nail. And it would look like that. So going back over here and you're inspecting, you see that there is nail. See the, the, the staining? Nail, nail, nail. So this was flat there at one time, and here's a nail indicating here. Marrying with the two holes here, here, and they all marry up. So at one time this was up, and then the floor... 
This dropped down. Oh, we got some impingement on this pipe. So this this could be helping us out as far as holding the ceiling up even, but we're going to release the load when he takes the ceiling down. Um, see how we gap there? But now we're impinged there. So this pipe is actually in, in like that in, 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 in tension. A little bit, let's see. Yep, I can't move it at all. Now that can I move the other, so that's so much for that. Um, what else can I teach you? That That's it for now, besides the repair. Again, it will be metal strapped and sistered on each side. And check for deflection. And check for deflection right now. I'll have him just for sport of it. Let's see. Would he walk up there? Now, there's a wall that's right about here. So, it's going to... Uh, there's a low bearing... There's a, a wall for the hallway that's here. And the hallway is about limit. So, it's about here. So, right about here is a transfer of load from the uh, ceiling uh, of the roof above down to this floor here. But then, loads back to there. Yep, all because they knots, because if you see the rest, it's pretty good so far. I mean, he didn't open this up. I might have to give you another video to say that now we're talking about spans. The bad news, if this is fractured here, if I see any fractures there, I'm going to have to have him uh, take a peek and inspect the hole out here. Or the guy had some old uh, photographs, so I'll have to see the old photographs of that ceiling joist, ceiling up there. All right, take care.